so what is up guys so today i wanted to share something that i learned yesterday in my anesthesia department what i learned was what are the pillars that are required right to become a good doctor like you know the establishment the fundamentals so that's something um i learned yesterday from my anesthesia sir exactly right here sitting here the sir was sitting right here and uh he taught us he uh he illustrated this with the help of a story a clinical scenario if you will uh, to to make us uh, remember the whole thing when when a patient right after surgery he requires fluids so the patient is on is on an po and he requires fluids so how will you calculate the fluid that's how it started like he asked uh, how will you calculate the fluid requirement for the patient right and so that's like a pure theory question and apparently the answer is a uh, holidays agar formula that's the answer to it so based on the weight we'll uh, calculate the fluid required right so you tell okay you know uh, the amount of fluid right that is required let's say 100 uh, 100 ml per hour that's a required fluid and then what you would do you would proceed to tell the the sister right you would tell the sister okay this is the put put fluid for 100 ml per hour you would tell the sister so the sister is like an imaginary character you know uh, she is just asking questions so the next question that the sister would tell is uh, okay sir Uh, but what fluid should we use right so that's the question so we know there's a lactate uh, there's normal saline what do we choose as uh, one doctor would say just just choose some uh, just put anything on it doesn't matter right so the sister is the one who chooses another doctor will say okay choose this or use this use ringer lactate that's what the other doctor would say he proceeds to say that you know you should be the the latter right ideally you should be the latter. you should be the one telling you should put this sister uh this exact one so he, then he asked us uh, which one would you prefer and uh, he proceeded to like we discussed about the different uh, fluids and and we came to the conclusion that lactate uh, ringer lactate is the one we have to use and the reason being it is uh, the osmolality uh, the osmolality is is same as that of blood right so it's also osmolar with respect to blood one second i'll, I'll show you the uh, the fluids like <laughs> it's like right there So yeah, so yeah. This is the this is the fluid. If you can see, it's a it, it's written ringer lactate, and also it's written um, the milli osmol uh, mm mol per liter. So I think it's all osmolality. Osmolality is yeah, it is two seventy eight. So two seventy eight is the osmolality. Human is from two ranges from two seventy five to three hundred something like that uh, to to two ninety. Uh, yeah something so 278 being the closest uh, to blood osmolality uh, so this is what we're going to prefer okay let me just let me just put this back so ringer lactate is what we have decided done so nextly uh, the sister asks like how do you put um, the the drip right how the, like the practical aspect of it so here the thing is that we have to convert the 100 ml per hour to how much drops per second right so there's like a bit of mathematical calculation behind it it's simple right solve for x <laughs> that's <laughs> that's basically it but yeah it's uh, something you have to do so yeah we do that we find that it is 4 by 10 so 4 uh, drops in 10 seconds that is the uh, rate at which we have to give right so that's also done <laughs> so finally we are like okay now sister just has to figure out the 4 by 10 I mean, that's the only mm, that's the only thing left right we have done it all we have done it all <laughs> right but no the sister <laughs> proceeds to ask you the next thing that is sir no canada <laughs> so like you know all this is good all this is well and good but at the end of the day you know you need canula uh, to push the fluid in so next thing is okay we don't know we have to put the canula so that's the next step so you know we talked about the importance of like Uh, putting canola and all that. This story, what does what does it illustrate, right? Firstly, we have to know the theoretical aspect of it, right? The pure thing, like what is the formula, like how much fluid is required for this patient, blah blah, yada yada, all that. So that is theory, right? Next is the practical aspect, right? It is knowledge, but it is practical knowledge, right? Um, how much, how much, like how much, the slider you have to uh, push. I mean, you have to push it, and uh, we have to adjust it to four m um, four drops in ten seconds. like after deriving uh, the x part and all that so that's the second step right that's the second step so that's a practical knowledge of it and are you done right all this is 
is invalid if you don't know how to put a cannula. So that is purely skill based, purely practical based. So these are the three, right? These are the three pillars that forms, right? That, that constitutes a, a good physician, like a good doctor, a, a good medical professional, right? If you will. And I found it really helpful and I wanted to, I uh, wanted to share with you, right? Oh, hope you guys enjoy this and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.